Hi, welcome to the preview video for the Optus Me TV. Um, hopefully you've um, had a look at the unboxing video just to uh, give you a heads up as to what you'll find in the box or if you're curious um, as to what you'll get um, if you do um, purchase one of these units. Um, but for now, we'll just go around the device itself just to uh, give you an idea of um, uh, some of its connectivity. So. We'll just go around the front here, and um, we have some lights here. Now I haven't actually plugged this in yet, but I'll find out soon enough what these actually do. But I'm assuming uh, this cluster of lights here is um, for the power. You have one for your net connection, um, and uh, this is uh, a remote notification over here. I'll just get that in shot. And, or otherwise to show you if you're recording something. Uh, you also have a big power button here and also under the front flap you have a USB port which um, is not currently activated to do anything but who knows maybe with a future firmware update it might do something and I'm guessing this over here is a smart card slot. You won't actually need one with the Mi TV um, but maybe in the future they'll require you to have one. Um, nothing too exciting on the bottom except some rubber feet, some screws. Um, on the top there's a ventilation grill so just make sure you don't cover that up if you can avoid doing so. Um, on the back, uh, on off switch for the power supply, uh, the two prong receptacle for the Power lead. So this friend, so it goes in there. Um, let's see, your antenna connections. So this is where you connect it to your antenna to get um, your digital television signal. And uh, for that you would use um, the supplied coaxial cable. And then we just go in there. Moving along, so you have a bunch of other connection options here. So you have, uh, there's another USB socket here, again, not used at the moment. Uh, video and left and right audio. So this is um, uh, uh, composite or composite, depending how you want to pronounce it. So these are your analog um, interfaces. Uh, you have S video try and get that in focus, maybe my fingers are causing issues. Yeah. Um, and then you also have your um, component uh, connections there. There's another coax connection there, not sure what, why we have another one. Um, and then we have um, digital audio, so if you need to use um, I think that's an optical out. I believe it is. And um, HDMI port and the good old RJ45 aka Ethernet port. Um, that's pretty much it for going around the unit. What I'll do next is um, I'll show you the Mi TV in action. So, I've got the Optus Me TV set up now, um, and you won't be able to see it because it's um, on the ground down there, um, because I have no other place to put it at the moment. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll just take you through the um, what happens the first time you switch it on. So I'll do that right now. So, just having a look, there we go. So at the moment, um, I've got the dog, which is red, the f dog face, and a little light next to internet connection. So it says, um, as you can see on screen there, preparing. Now I've got a blue dog on the unit. There we 
we go. And depending how long this takes, I might just speed it up. Okay, so as with a lot of things these days, um, units are driven by firmware, which is the internal software that makes the hardware work. So we'll just sit tight and wait until the new firmware is downloaded and installed. Okay, so the firmware update has finished, so the set-top box will restart itself. There it goes. Got my red light on now for the net connection. Here we go, it's coming back up. blue light now on my net connection alright so we're up to initializing now Logging in. And just while it's um, logging in, I'm just standing where I am, which is about a metre and a half away from the television. Uh, the image, you know, even though it's a fairly simple loading screen, um, looks um, pretty good. So that's 1080i, I believe. So here we go, welcome to Fetch TV, thank you for choosing Fetch TV. You were just minutes away from having your service up and running. First, before you can start viewing TV, let us help you set up your new Fetch TV service. Fantastic. So, the continue button, which if I just show you here, is the button with the paw on it. So I'll just press that. And this is where the activation code goes in. So, I will pop this in. And it probably doesn't matter too much now that you see my activation code because um, I would have used it already by the time you see this video. Okay, so there we go. And done. Okay, obviously I've read that wrong. Yes, I have. So I've missed a digit. Alright, so there we go. 
activation code confirmed, logging into Fetch TV, parental pin, your server is protected by a parental pin, this is a master password for modifying the set top box, the default pin is 40, so however you can change it by pressing the green button on your remote now, so uh, that's this button, I'm not going to do that because I have no kids. Um, if you want to change in the future, this option is available under the Manage menu. If you do not want to change your parental pin, just press the pause button to continue, which is what I will do. Channel scan. To identify your local digital TV channels, we need to perform a channel scan. This usually takes three minutes. Press the pause button to start the scan now. So, knock yourself out. Okay, so as you can see, it's found zero channels. Um, now, silly me forgot to plug in the other end of the coax. So, I'll just actually plug it in now, and I will uh, kick off the channel scan process again. So, you can see here we've got audio options, stereo or 5.1. For a lot of things you can just leave it on stereo, but if you've got a home theatre system, uh, you can choose that as well. I'll just leave it on stereo for the moment. Next screen, your Fetch TV server is now running through a series of diagnostic tests to determine your server's performance. So I've got an IP address, can connect to the internet, and there's a problem with the tuner. So, just log in. So, what I'll have to do is um, just manually redetect the digital TV channels. STP authenticated loading interface. Okay, so this is the interface. Um, so you have some options here, my stuff. So this is where you can manage your recordings and view your rentals and whatnot. Um, so that's for regular TV, movies. Um, this is for digital television. Uh, there's apps including games and Optus News, but I'm not going to go into those at the moment. Manage and MeTV. Now, I'm going to just go into the settings here. And um, as we can see here, I've got no channels. Please perform a channel scan, which I will do. So I will go to channels. And down the bottom we see full channel scan hit the blue button. So I will hit the blue button. Please enter your parental pin so that's four zeros which is the default. And here we go again. So I'll just speed this up.
Okay, so channel scan is complete, and here we go. Um, so we've got a complete channel list now, which is good. Um, so I will um, exit out of that now. I'm not falling, so I know. <laughs> Pretty neat. And things to do in Liverpool when stranded. Just turn the volume down there. In fact, I'll just put it all the way down. Um, so this is uh, one, or one HD, I believe. And um, given that this set-top box has a uh, one terabyte drive in it, you can also pause TV. So if I hit the pause button here, above the uh, play button it's paused and um, you can also see across the bottom there um, what other shows are coming up so but if I want to rewind just hit the rewind button and up the um, in fact you just have to Yeah, that's a bit odd. So it doesn't want to keep rewinding for some reason, but alright. Anyway, if you want to fast forward, we'll just go fast forward. Okay, so it wasn't rewinding because I that was the point at which it would um not go back any further, so you can fast forward and you can go all the way back if you want, so up to what, 16 times there there we go, it's not too bad and um, we can change the channels there so there's digital music uh, what else do we have, Foldy Towers ABC News 24, now that'll um, That should be a full HD image. Just see. Kind of, sorta. Um, again, if we want to pause, just press the pause button. There we go. And we can see the guide there as well. So, um, what I'll also do is um, go out. Nope, that's not it. Um, so we'll go to the um, electronic program guide, which is found just by pressing this EPG button at the top. And here we go. So this is your listing of everything that's um, scheduled for viewing. Now, of course, you need to bear in mind that the networks play a bit of silly buggers these days, and um, shows will run over. Um, particularly if they're live so that they can ruin your viewing experience on another channel if you're going to watch but given that um, an increasing number of people these days um, have PVRs or DVRs or whatever you call them um, that's becoming less of an issue um, so let's uh, just see what we can so uh, if you want to record something you just highlight it. So if I want to go to something later in the day, um, mega structures. All I need to do is hit the uh, record button there, and I have a record little symbol appear um, over here at the end of it, and. If I want to um, see what uh, recordings I have lined up, go to scheduled, there we go. So if I just now exit out of all that, um, I will go back to the menu. Alright, here we go. So let's just have a quick look at what else there is under here. Um, now there are movies which you can um, 
stream over IPTV and they do cost um, I'm not going to well maybe I'll just have a look so on the screen you, well you've got a whole bunch of information here so you have a synopsis uh, you can also see uh, other information such as cast and crew overview of the story there we go and reviews which pulls from Rotten Tomatoes so you can see what sort of a rep it gets before you lay down your cash to watch it um, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of reviews you can go through there so that's uh, some people might find that handy and uh, if you fancy watching the trailer I'll just try and get there I'll turn up the volume it was a time of tradition a time of values so this is streaming time over the internet Alright, so that's that's how that bit works, so we'll just go back. And if you want to buy it, there's the rent button there, but I will not be buying that. Um, so just going back. So you've got movie rentals and there's uh, movie box. Now, as part of um, the subscription, you get um, access to some free movies. Uh, these tend to be older ones and uh, there's a time limit as to when they're available so for each one you'll see uh, how long it is and also uh, until when it's available so I'll just give Herbie Goes Bananas a go because everybody loves Herbie alright so before it gets going it'll start to buffer it and then it will um, presumably start. You can also see the uh, rating for the video here and now it's ready to go so we just hit the pause button and there we go. Oh, it's your pick of the flakes! And there we go. Add that. Hey, and say at a school or in a political party. What's um, so yeah, that's um, that's just some of the features that you'll find in here. Uh, it's also plan information, um, and there's Optus News as well. So we'll just have a quick look at that. presume this is pulling off the Optus Zoo website so you can get some some news through here and hit to change the page Okay, so just move up to the icon and you can do that. As to whether or not that's uh, more effective than just looking on a tablet or a laptop, um, I'll leave that up to you to decide. So that's um, Optus Me TV. Um, hopefully that will give you an idea of how the unit um, operates and what you'll expect. Uh, if you do pick up a, a unit. Uh, if you have any questions just make sure you leave a comment below and if you found the video handy make sure you give it a thumbs up and as always thanks for watching.